welcome back. It's Mina. We are going for another 48 by 60 today. This one is for a lovely lady that I know, Ms. Sheila. And uh, this is Sheila's dream. So I'm very excited. We've been talking about this one for a while and we're going to do it today. So I've done several test pieces, so I know I like the color palette that I'm going with and it's going to be awesome. This is a 48 by 60 canvas inches. It's also 121.9 times 152.4 centimeters, if you like that better. So, our math for today, 48 by 60, 2,880. You divide that by 28, end up with 102.85. That gives you how many ounces of paint you need to cover this canvas. So, we need 103, I have about 160. Plus, I have some extra from my drips left over from yesterday when I was doing tests. So, we have way more than enough paint. I'm very excited, I wanna show you my colors real fast. We're gonna go from darkest to lightest. This one is Payne's Gray from Golden's. Beautiful, beautiful deep color. All my paints are mixed with Liquitex Gloss Medium and Varnish, some water, and some Floetrol. So that's the pouring medium for everything. Um, this is the Payne's Gray, using a mound on a mound. I have added a lot of water to this. I have a feeling I might be adding a little bit more. But I want to be careful because sometimes it still feels thick after I've added a lot of water and it's got like this marshmallow fluff consistency but then if I add too much water it looks okay in the cup and then when I pour it something is too thin. So I'm not going to, I'm not, I'm going to just trust myself and go with what I've got. The next one we have over here, Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics in Emerald Green. Fantastic, delicious, beautiful color. Use this one first in Gorgon's Grotto. <laughs> Love that. So this is a great, great green and it's very sparkly and very metallic. Uh, we're gonna get into Golden's Turquoise Thalo. This is beautiful. This is one of my newest favorite colors. I just, I love this. It's such a deep peacocky sort of blue, but it's not that green, but it's not too dark. It's just, it's a perfect color. So perfect color. So that's the, uh, turquoise. Then we have Golden's Green Gold, which this is not one of my favorite colors. I, I actually don't like this color very much. However, when you pair it with the turquoise, it does magical things. So it's definitely a background player in this one, but it's going to add some major pop. The last one that uh, is one of the blues is Anthroquinone Blue from Golden's. And I really like this color a lot. Sometimes it looks purpley, but with this palette, it's not. So over here, this is just, I don't know if you can see all how beautiful these four are together. It's just a gorgeous lights and darks. It just plays beautifully together. So now that we've showed you all those, the showgirls, <laughs> I couldn't decide which gold I wanted. And I've always loved the Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics and the 24 karat. That's been my favorite for a very long time. And that one is, you know, this one, <laughs> sorry. This is the 24 karat. Then the soft gold I fell in love with also because it's got that beautiful magic trick of being kind of silvery. And then lately I've been playing with the Golden's iridescent gold. And I was playing with the deep colored one which is a little darker than this. And it was gorgeous and I love it and I used it all up. So then I had the bright one left which is a little bit more yellowy but it does really beautiful things with this color palette. So I couldn't choose which one that I wanted to use for this because they all do different things. The 24 karat has these beautiful little cells that pop up. The soft gold does that silvery thing that I really like. The, the golden's gold does this beautiful, bright iridescent shine and I kind of want all three of those. So I'm gonna use all three because we have a big, beautiful canvas. I am super excited. So that's all my colors. I told you my pouring medium just so you don't all have to wonder. I start with about two ounces to that line right there of pouring medium. I put about an ounce of paint in, about half an ounce of water if I need it, sometimes an ounce, sometimes an ounce and a half, depending on how thick everything is. So that takes me to about here. And from here all the way up to here is Floetrol. So it's between eight to 10 ounces, depending on you know which technique I'm gonna do. If you want your paint thinner, obviously add more Floetrol. If you want your paint thicker, obviously add less Floetrol. So the paint to pouring medium is a two to one ratio. Two ounces of pouring medium to one ounce of paint. So that's two to one. And then we take that paint and pouring medium and we add Floetrol. And that ratio can be anywhere from 
three to one, four to one, sometimes even five to one, depending on how thick your paint is. All of this is a suggestion. This is a starting place because every single paint is different. Even these colors, even the ones that are all goldens, they're all slightly different consistencies and you have to judge by feel. You'll learn how to do it, but that's the beauty of painting all the time and painting every day and practicing is you figure out what the consistency you like is. So the other thing I wanted to show you are my drips from yesterday. That's all of these combined. Makes this gorgeous, gorgeous peacock sort of metallic-y. So if I need base coat or background color, I have it. I also have an extra cup of turquoise and an extra cup of the Payne's Gray. So that's everything. Let's layer our first cup and then uh, we'll see how we're gonna do this. <laughs> I'm gonna put that right there for you. So to get 103 ounces, this is 16 ounces. So 16, 32. 32 and 32 is 64, yeah. So that would be four, four of these would be 64. So we're probably gonna use a lot of these, like maybe six or eight. I hope I have enough paint. I do have enough paint. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to start with some turquoise on the bottom. And then because we have so many beautiful goals to choose from, I'm actually gonna put a little bit of the 24 karat in there find that it blended. I am going to do a straight pour on these, so that's fine. Uh, let's go with some of the panes next. I wish you guys could really see like the inside of the cup. Like right now there's a cell in there that's floating on the turquoise and it's a dark panes gray cell with this perfect gold ring about it. It's the prettiest thing ever. Okay, bye bye pretty cell. We're going to use some emerald green. Now we're gonna go in with some soft gold. Now we're going to put some of the anthraquinone in. And I'm gonna go back to the turquoise. And then I wanna put in a nice healthy dose of this green gold. Okay. And now we're gonna put in the golden gold. Okay, so. I'm just going to have like maybe three big straight pours across. I'm going to start with the one in the middle. I have sprayed the back of my canvas so that it doesn't sag because that's really annoying when that happens. That happened to me yesterday and I was really mad because all the perfect beautiful cells that I had after half an hour all started cracking and breaking and rolling into the center, which really, because that was a beautiful painting. I was mad. But anyway, it did its job. I, I figured out my colors, so we're good. Anyway, back to this. Can you, oh. I'm gonna put a little tiny puddle of gold in first. Okay. Yeah? Okay. There we go. Good, okay, so that's one. We're gonna do the same thing, kind of sped up a little bit and I'm gonna mix them up a little bit more. There's still turquoise at the bottom of this cup, so just because you don't see me adding some doesn't mean it's not there, it is there. And my paint is thick, baby, which is just fine. requested to keep the cup still. <laughs> Sorry, honey. I have the most patient, loving, wonderful husband on earth. And I just wanted to say a moment on camera. Thank you for all your help. My husband of awesomeness. I love you more than anything. And now I have paint on my <laughs> Okay. Back to work. Okay. Alrighty, put a little tiny bit of panes on top. There we go. All right, here we go. I'm gonna do this one over here. My gold. Okay.
Okay. That's good. See all the cells coming up in there? Woohoo! Awesome. I was watching a video of my daughter this morning and she was really little and she was just learning how to like talk and they're in that really cute like parrot stage where they repeat anything. <laughs> and she just her sister taught her to say, awesome. Awesome. And it's just the cutest little um, <laughs> So nice to think of them when they were young and they were babies and they were sweet. Now they're like almost teenagers. They're still wonderful. Maybe it's slightly more mouthy. <laughs> okay, so that one is empty. There's my other turquoise. So let's put in some of the 24 carat. I'm doing it again, aren't I? Sorry, honey. Now y'all are gonna start yelling at me about that too. <laughs> You need to make me like a little stand or something. Put the paint cup here. <laughs> then I'll remember. Okay. That's good. Woo, pretty, pretty, pretty. Are you going to be able to see it if I pour it over here? Okay. <laughs> okay, that's really cool. I like it. Awesome, 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 awesome. Okay, oh my God, now there's two of them. Be gone. Okay. We go a little faster this time. Oops. Persistent little fly over here. He likes me. Okay. All right, a little bit of turquoise on top. Okay, let's do this one over here. Oh my god. Okay. Tiny lizard over there. <laughs> okay. Last one. Some canes. Thank you, darling. See? Okay. Gold. Turquoise. Green. Soft gold. Green turquoise. Green gold. Golden gold. I do have more turquoise left. I actually have that really cool background color left. Let's clean up. Keep our area clean. Um, are we gonna move that table now? So I'm gonna pour this one and then I'm gonna pause the video for a second and move this table so I can get around that other side. Actually, before I do that, I'm gonna pour some of that drip stuff around as a base coat. So let me pour this one first. Pour this one first. With our puddle of gold. Okay, here we go. 
Okay. I'm gonna go around this with the drips. So we just fill in some of this side area over here. So these are the same colors that's in my cups, but this is from yesterday's. Okay. I'm torch this fly too. Okay, little cells. You develop. And we'll be right back. So we move that table out of the way so I can get over there. So now we're gonna just sort of spread this around the corners. Give our paint something to slide on. Time I did a really big one like this, I, that first tilt, a lot of paint went off the edge. So I was not happy about that. So I'm gonna be really careful this time and try to make sure that that does not happen. We're gonna go over that edge now. corner. Bring the weight of the paint back to the middle. Oof. I'm going to go off that bottom end. This is there. Take the weight of the paint that way. This is the part where I get dirty and it drips all over me. No. We're almost there. So this action of pushing it up and down, it's kind of like controls the speed your paint is moving and it's very helpful for you to see oh, I'm still paint on my neck. <laughs> now I'm all the way down eventually to that corner. pretty cells up here. Okay, we're gonna get that last corner. And we want the paint to slide and move nice and easy. And you see it is no fuss, no muss. Oh, there we go. Now, the only part that still has not been tilted is right there on that edge. So I'm gonna bring the weight of the canvas back this way sharply. There's two big streams there. Okay, I have a lot of really cute cells and I don't wanna destroy them. One last time, I'm gonna tilt it just to get that stuff off real fast. And here we go. Also, we don't wanna to have too much paint on, left on the surface of the canvas. We want it so that it's almost not moving. So when I go to take this inside, 
I don't want it dripping if I have to tilt it to get through the door, you know what I mean? So right now there's just a little bit of paint sliding back towards the middle, a little bit coming down to this edge, which is fine. It's gonna stretch out our top. Okay, now let's take a look and see what we've got. This is amazing, all these little tiny beautiful cells up here are so cute. That's good, that's good, this is beautiful. I'm glad I used all three golds because each of them has a different effect. You know, like in here I see the soft gold a lot and these big puffy clouds, and then the 24 karat is coming through in the little cells, which is why we did that. And then I think there's also, the golden's gold is gonna come through in a different way. When it's dry, you're gonna see that. It's gonna be really bright. So, I like it though. I like how this is very cellular. It's got a lot of bubbly. I love this though, and I really like that. Maybe we should take it this way one more time and stretch this part out. Okay. Yeah, see now that's opening that up in there. I like that. I'm gonna do that again. This is a 48 by 60. So this is a big baby. <laughs> see. I think y'all are gonna wanna kill me, but I kinda wanna tilt some of that off that way. So don't kill me. I like this, but there's a lot of busyness happening over there. And I know that if I stretch out what's already here, it's going to look better. So that's what we're gonna do. Just covering up this edge real quick. Okay, so I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna go that way with it. Actually, first I'm gonna go this way one more time to get some more of that stretched out and open and move down. And now we're gonna go that way. I want to open this up more and get some of that to go. It's not moving fast, which is good. That's a good sign. That means when it does move down, as it moves, it's stretching out the paint that's up here. We did. Oh no. I tell you, you're gonna take more off. Sorry. Actually, that's fine because I like this. at it. See, I'm glad I did that. I, more needs to come off. <laughs> you guys are probably going to want to kill me. <laughs> but there's still too much on there.
See, as we take off more of this at the bottom, that up there at the top is opening up, and that's really pretty. So now, because of all of this extreme tilting and taking off that paint at the end, I am confident that there is not too much paint on here, which means a couple of things. First of all, it means it's going to dry nicely. It's not going to crack all over the place. Second of all, it means that as it gets stretched out, you start to see the different layers of the colors in between where everything is pulled apart. Like up here, that's really beautiful. You know, I'm sorry, I need to do more. Because <laughs> I don't like this. This part in here is bothering me. What was bothering me? Yeah, come on. The curve, you don't like the curve? Paint dry. It's so exciting, isn't it? <laughs> but this is pretty. Okay. Now we're gonna put it down. I'm gonna take a one time. Let's torch it. Woo, look at those colors. underwatery this section there's like you can see these striations with the anthroquinone where it came through and actually really provided some depth in between all the other different colors in the cells the turquoise these little gold cells with the 24 karat there's our green gold coming through there's more of the turquoise you see the panes in the background turquoise there's going to be cells in here watch and this part <laughs> This part's gonna sell up more. It's gonna be beautiful. And I love that corner. Really cool. Okay. It's nice and high up. Looking to pop air bubbles. If any cells come up, that's great. making for myself is after I torch it I'm not tilting it again because I don't want my cells to, to crack and break that made me really angry yesterday I was very upset <laughs> so yeah so now I've torched it it's mostly where I want it to be I wouldn't mind if some of this had moved back to the center just a little bit but I think it actually provides a little bit more interest being off center like that and this is amazing this section here with that these layers of the green gold and the turquoise and the panes and the anthroquinone coming up in between is like amazing. And this corner over here is like, ah, uh, so pretty with that soft gold and the turquoise and these big cells that spread out. So you see the color underneath them in between and like marbling or veins. Very, very pretty. Beautiful little cells all through here. Very cool. I like this one. Very happy with how this came out. And fly over here on my elbow, who's very happy with how it came out too. Apparently, he likes this face a lot. So, <laughs> he doesn't want to go away. All right, I'm going to take the camera down and take some close-ups for you guys, and uh, I will show you when it's dry. So, this is pretty cool. This part is amazing in here. This is like that look like stained glass. This part is so cool where that green gold is just coming through in little bits. Very pretty. That's the soft gold in there. And the turquoise and the emerald green and the green gold. And it's just this little bit of pain that's coming through. And that, that darker color is really important because it's providing the shadow for your brighter colors to play off of. You know, without that darker one, there's no drama. Alright, this is awesome.
Okay, guys, I'll see you when this one's dry. Okay, so here is the dried piece. <laughs> this turned out so cool. <laughs> you see all these amazing colors in here. There's that green gold with our 24 karat. Sorry, it's really windy today. And then as we go up, you can also see the soft gold, which really looks kind of silverish almost. And then you see a lot of that golden iridescent gold in there. Look at this corner though. This is just amazing. I love this edge. So pretty. Lots of little cells. You see the Payne's gray in there, and then you see the anthraquinone blue. And that soft gold again looking kind of silverish. The deep turquoise. So pretty. And then in there, that's the soft gold mixing with the deep turquoise and some of the emerald green. And down here again with the Payne's gray and the emerald green and the golds mixing. Very, very pretty. Really, really cool piece. So this one is Sheila's dream. And uh, I had a lot of fun with this. It was great. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, if you'd like to see more of my work, you can check out Mina Villegas Art on Facebook. You can also check out my Etsy shop now, which is called Mina Villegas Art. And if you feel like you've enjoyed these videos or you've learned something and uh, you'd like to be a patron of the arts, there is a PayPal me link in the description box. I really appreciate all of your donations. Uh, it really helps keep stocked up in supplies and paint and canvases and things like that. So if you have any questions for me, you can leave them in the comments or you can send me an email or you can reach out at uh, the Mina Villegas Art Through Messenger. It's awesome. Okay. Thank you all for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys have a beautiful, beautiful day. Bye-bye.